Hello and uh, welcome uh, to a virtual Chris Stingle lesson. Um, it's a bit strange, isn't it? Um, I think hopefully most of you remember who I am. I know I haven't been in school for an incredibly long time, uh, but my name is the Reverend John Bishop. Uh, I work at the Baptist Church here in Croxy Green. And uh, normally I would come in and uh, take some lessons during the year uh, and spend some time with you and help you to understand a little bit more about Christianity and, and all that kind of stuff. And I'd probably see you around as well quite a bit. But this year is a little bit different. And uh, unfortunately, I can't come in to your lesson uh, this, uh, this afternoon. Uh, it's just not uh, possible. We're not allowed to do that. Um, but we really wanted to share with you some of the uh, the reason behind uh, the Christmas season that we have and the celebrations that we have, because we think they're really important. Um, and so we wanted to share them with you. Um, and together uh, we are going to attempt a virtual Chris Dingle, uh, lesson uh, together. Um, now, we've never done this, so it might go really well. It might not. We'll find out. Obviously, at the moment, we can't talk to each other. I'm just talking to a computer screen and you're just listening. But don't worry, uh, your lesson will not all be me talking to you. You're going to have some time to do some stuff and make your very own Chris Stingle. And uh, I'm going to explain that to you, show you how to do it, uh, leave you to it, basically. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll then get to see some of them uh, at the end. But um, it is really good to be with you in this way. And I'm really pleased that we've been able to organise this uh, and I can share with you uh, today. So uh, shall we get on? In pretty much every single religion, um, we have things uh, to help us understand things that are quite difficult. Um, and uh, Chris Stingle is one of those things. It's a symbolic object um, that we often use uh, in churches and as Christians. Uh, around the time of Advent and Christmas and Epiphany um, and we make services that remind us um, about how Jesus is the light of the world, that, um, that, that, that Jesus comes to our world to give us hope and to show us that our world is not actually, um, uh, we're not all alone in our world, that actually there is a God there with us. Um, the original word, uh, the meaning uh, or the word Christingle comes from a German word called Christ, Christ Kindl, um, which means little Christ child uh, and is used uh, to celebrate um, Jesus as being the light of the world. And we're going to attempt to make um, a Christingle with you guys now. Um, and what I'd like you to do is to watch uh, what I do um, and then uh, you can go and make your own. So um, the first thing you're going to need is an orange, a nice uh, orange. doesn't matter what size. I've got quite large ones just to make it easier for you to see, but you can make them with small ones. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, but an orange is a great place to start. And the orange represents the world God's good creation um, you know it's round like the world and you know it tastes good it's it's, it's something nice to eat it's full of something juicy uh, and fresh inside so the the the, the orange uh, the round orange represents the world and um, once you've got your orange you're going to get a piece of red ribbon or tape uh, and you wrap it round like this you wrap it round the middle of your orange, as I am doing here, like so, and then using either a piece of sellotape or a bit of glue. Uh, I'm using sellotape because, do you know what? I couldn't find any glue. Um, and unfortunately, I've got too big a piece of sellotape and I can't find my scissors now, never mind. Um, so you use that to put that on. And then you've got this red ribbon. Now, like all religions where we have things uh, to remind us and help us understand complex things, each part has a point. Um, it's there to represent something and remind us of something. The orange represents the world, as I've said. The red ribbon represents the love of Jesus. Now, you might want to think about in your groups as you're making it, why, why is it red? Why is the love of Jesus represented by this red ribbon wrapped around the world? And perhaps later on uh, you can uh, talk about that uh, and uh, tell me what that uh, symbolises or represents. So we've got the world and we've got the red ribbon that represents the love of Jesus. 
we're then going to need a candle. Um, and quite often at Christmas we have lots of candles and partly um, they're just really nice um, because it's quite dark at Christmas time and candles bring uh, light to it. But it reminds us again um, that Jesus is the light of the world and uh, he was born at Christmas time. And so we use a candle uh, to remind us of that. Now, depending on how um, fresh or hard your orange skin is, you might need some help um, getting this into uh, the orange. I, I'm, I'm going to just make a little hole uh, in mine using a skewer. Um, you might need to use a pair of scissors or something. But again, make sure uh, there's someone there to help you. And uh, what I tend to do is put a little bit of foil, if you've got it. It doesn't matter if you haven't, uh, on the top. This is just to catch the wax. And then you can should be able to push your candle in and of course this one isn't going in very well so I've got to make a bigger hole there we go see don't always get things right do we so again in we go make the hole put the foil back there and this is a tough tough orange that I've got here um, there we go so we now have the orange that represents the world. We have the love of Jesus represented by the ribbon. Uh, and we have a candle to remind us that the Bible tells us uh, that Jesus is the light of the world. And we've got that candle there. You're then going to need um, four sticks. Um, I've got these little cocktail sticks. And some people use these to represent the four different seasons of the world, you know, spring, summer, autumn and winter to represent that actually um, it's not just in this moment, uh, but it's in every moment uh, that God is involved in the world. And what you need to do is stick your um, skewers into your orange, try and space them evenly round um, like I'm doing here or as evenly as you can into your orange. And say so some people say these represent the seasons. Some people just think it looks nice to have four. Um, it doesn't really, uh, really matter um, what you think they represent. They're there um, and it reminds you again of that. And then um, fruit's good for you, isn't it? You should all know that by now. Um, fruit is something that we know is really good for us. And uh, what we tend to do at Chris Dingles is we put some dried fruit like this uh, onto those sticks like so, to represent or to remind us of all the good things that are in God's creation. Now, you might want to, with the ones that you've got, to have a nice ordered pattern and have the same ones on the sticks at each time. You might want to do them uh, differently, and that is really up to you. Um, I'm just going to put two on each, um, but uh, you can do uh, as many as you've got, really, um, and that's absolutely fine. But these dried fruits here uh, represent uh, all the good things in creation. Uh, now, some people also put sweets on, um, but uh, uh, I like to use the fruit because it's much better for you. Um, and so there we have it. This is how you make a Christingle to remind you uh, about how at Christmas time we celebrate uh, the fact that Jesus came into the world, um, God's good world, and that he wrapped his love around the world and gave us light and gives us lots of good gifts, lots of good things. Our world is full of them. And perhaps when you get home tonight, um, you can place this on a, a plate somewhere in your house uh, and you can light it. Um, I've got one here which I can light because I'm not in school, so I can do this. Um, and so I'm going to just quickly light mine. He says it's not lighting. Here we go. You see, there we go. Uh, and there is a make your own Christingle to remind you just how much God loves you and how special each one of us is. Remember, you've got God's world, Jesus's love wrapped around it. Perhaps you can have a think, why is that red? Why have we chosen red uh, to represent the love of, of God through Jesus? Um, you've got the light because the Bible tells us that Jesus is the light of the world. The four sticks that perhaps represent the four different seasons that show us that God is in the world all the time. And then the dried fruit of all the good things that God gives us in the world. Lots of different things. Perhaps, again, you could think about what good things have there been in 2020. And I know it's been a difficult year. 
um, perhaps you can have a little think about that uh, and see what you can come up with. I just also want to talk to you a little bit more about this year. This year, um, 2020, uh, you know, the world, the whole world represented here uh, was threatened by coronavirus and many countries uh, made people stay at home for weeks and weeks and weeks, didn't they? And you have experienced that yourselves, both in lockdown the first time round and then subsequently we've had a lockdown again and some of you have had to go um, into um, isolation because someone else has caught it or been tested positive or whatever. What's it like um, to be at home, away from your friends and not being able to be at school? Can you remember that feeling that you had when you had to avoid people uh, and in fact still have to keep your distance? It's not a nice feeling, is it? You know, you had to make sure that you were safe uh, and do different things, new things. You know, you've, you've probably all got uh, some of this. Um, some hand sanitizer um, that you have to use a lot more. Um, this is one of my masks. I have lots of these because uh, we wash them every day um, after using them. Um, and these again were to keep us safe. Um, you might have had to wear gloves in certain places and often you have to keep apart from people. Um, now this is a, a meter ruler, okay? And uh, we'll start here and we'll slide it along. It goes all the way along. It's very long, isn't it? It's longer than my camera can reach. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, all the way to there. That's one metre, and then we've got to do it again, back again, all the way the other way. Quite often we were told we had to keep apart from people by two metres. That's quite a long way. When we had to isolate, uh, when the virus started, uh, you know, when locked, and then when lockdown began, uh, we found out that uh, it's... It's, it's interesting how we meet people again when we start to reconnect with people. A lot of people felt cut off from others. They were isolated or lonely or frightened. And uh, one of the organisations that helps people is, is something called the Children's Society. Um, and it helps people who felt uh, isolated and that their well-being, their mental health has really struggled uh, at this time. What ways, when you were in lockdown, um, did you find to communicate with people? Maybe um, you used, you know, WhatsApp or, or Zoom or Snapchat if you're old enough, um, you know, mobile phones, um, you know, telephones, Instagram, FaceTime, whatever, whatever. maybe you even wrote letters. Um, even though we were isolated, there were ways that we could shine our light in the darkness by communicating with others to include them to make them feel better. A lot of people um, lit candles at the start of lockdown to celebrate the acts of kindness and help and healing and hope that people were doing. We clapped for the NHS, lots of different ways that we showed that even in a difficult time, there is still good in our world. Now, um, as I said, the Children's Society has worked to help people who have been in isolation, who have felt uh, difficult uh, found this time really difficult and there was one lad called Jamie I've changed his name so I don't know what his real name was but Jamie um, he really struggled uh, in lockdown and because of other people helping him uh, he was able to get through those difficult times because people shone a light into his life and helped him and now he can help others by sharing the good stories of things that happened to him and he now goes out to help other people Sharing light during the darkness of lockdown um, happened when people shared their stories, when people encouraged each other, when people helped and communicated with people in a safe way. God's light that we have represented with our Chris Stingle um, is a way of sharing the fact that God loves each one of us and that through that light represented in the Chris Stingle, Jesus came into the world to show us love and to overcome the barriers that separate us from God. Perhaps tonight when you light your Christingle, uh, you can remember um, what you did to communicate with others during lockdown. How you shared with people in difficult times and how you're going to keep doing that to encourage. We all want to shine uh, and do acts of kindness 
uh, in our world today to make it better. It is a difficult year, but by doing those acts of kindness, by shining a light, uh, we can bring hope and love and healing to people who need it most. So how are you going to shine a light in the world this Christmas time?